Hi everyone, welcome to this week's I Make Stuff, where this week I'm actually going to be doing a very popular mod to my Esheen E010. I am going to be putting an FPV camera on top of it, which essentially makes this a tiny whoop or a um, bootleg tiny whoop. I bought a small little camera from Banggood. This is also, I believe, available on Amazon. I'm going to have links down below. I also 3D printed a camera holder or camera mount for the drone itself so it's going to hold on to the camera while it's flying snugly with no should not be any issue. I 3D printed it using my Monoprice Select Plus and I also printed it with a PLA filament with 100% infill. So all of that is available down below. I have my soldering iron ready and just in case I have my needle file set and my screwdrivers. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to take my drone apart and then I am going to solder the camera piece onto the drone itself. So as I mentioned before, here is the drone. If I remove the top cover, I will be able to see the two connections that I'm going to have to solder. On the back of the drone, there will be a marking for positive and negative, which is ground and power. And I'm going to just make a note of that. And I'm going to be soldering the red wire over to power and black to ground. Okay, so that is done. And what I have here is the frame for the camera. And what it does is it actually already has the screw holes in it. And there are screws on the board that I would need to take off and I could reuse them to attach the camera mount to it. The camera is going to be facing this way because the drone is going to be flying forward that way. The camera is in and what I'm gonna do now is remove the screws and put this on. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to attach the battery and then I'm going to test out the little camera to make sure that everything is working. I have a pair of Isheen VR11 goggles that I'm going to be using to double check to make sure the camera is working and then let's take it for a spin around the house. So as you guys can see, it actually worked. Um, it was pretty easy to mod this camera. I haven't soldered in a very long time and I kind of burnt my, myself. Uh, other than that, it was pretty easy. I didn't have to use more solder. The wires were cut at the perfect length for the drone itself. I soldered it on as you saw, and then I screwed on the frame. The drone connected right to my goggles and after connecting you as you guys saw I was flying around a little bit the battery life is kind of short which is kind of sad um, the battery life right now is being split between the motors and the camera any flight time I had before the camera is now shortened because now it has to uh, broadcast the signal what I'm planning to do is one buy more batteries and two see if I can have higher capacity battery so that I would be able to increase my flight time. And now what I'm going to be doing with this drone is I'm going to be flying it around my house during the winter. If you guys see my other videos on my channel, I fly drones, but because the winter's coming, it's gonna snow, it's gonna be cold. I didn't want to have to figure out how to you know, fly my drone out there. So I have this as a backup to fly inside a little bit. I do plan on creating obstacle courses and just having my uh, little tiny, tiny whoop here fly through everything inside the house and just change it up, you know, have some fun during the winter and still get my fix in. So with that, thank you for watching and if you guys liked what I did here or if you've never seen it, let me know below. 
you can hit subscribe and as well as hit the little bell icon to so that you will be able to see more videos like this as well as the drone videos so thanks again and i'll see you guys next time